Um, apparently, there is uh, this, uh, they say, you know, there's something that you actually did share, and you said that uh, a woman can't flush poo down the toilet <laughs> on a first date. Yeah? Yes, yes. What is that about? Oh, oh my God. Uh, did, did you see this on Twitter? No. Um, the lady, she's now called the poo lady. Oh, really? <laughs> but right before that, she was a lady. Oh, okay. I, th I think I heard what? about it. Yeah. What? So she went on this date. You know, we've been meeting mm -hmm. these guys. I uh -huh. think it would, must have been the third date. You know, the third okay. date is the deal designer. Like, today, are we going to do it? <laughs> are we going to not? Are we going back to <laughs> So they actually went back to his apartment. And we all know, when you're dating somebody, going to the toilet in their presence is like one of those deal breakers. You're like, you know, I, I think people never even know you actually poo. Really? Oh, pee. Okay, pee. Fine. You're supposed to be at another... Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 People go on That's this. another thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now this chick, mm -hmm. she went back to the guy's place and they're fooling around and everything and then she decided, oh my God, I ate right. and the rest of the time, I actually need to go to the so toilet. Number two she come goes up. to the toilet. But... And this is also very interesting in Nairobi because uh -huh. you go to somebody's toilet and it's not flashy. Oh my God. Okay. So she flashed severally, like, you know, you like, you stick in there a long time, you're listening if people are listening to you from the sitting room. <laughs> then it didn't flash. So there was like one little one that remained <laughs> and she decided in her way oh. to bring it, you know, to remove it from there and wrap it in several tissues. And then she put it in her purse. Can you imagine? Oh my God. What? And, and then she went and then they're still fooling around and in her head, by the way, it was on Wait, Twitter, I did really, really, really So in her head, she's still thinking about it. And this guy is like, oh no, we are this and we are that and we are that. And she's just thinking about that. So eventually she went back in and flushed it. And then she was just sharing the story. And she has become an internet sensation. From that. But you know, it's true. People don't know how what to happens? take care of other things. <clears throat> Is it that when people go out on dates, they're so nervous, you know, they, they probably don't even, they want to be seen as, as trophies. They do not want to be seen as human. Actually, yeah? Yeah, if you look at uh, page 17 of the Nairobian, mm -hmm. uh, coincidentally, it's there. Silas <laughs> and uh, the, the lady up there called Scoffin, they talked about page the do's and, do yeah, mm -hmm. yes. and don'ts of first dates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you don't go okay. through, right? I think we should go through no. these do's and don'ts and fast <laughs> like, What must you not do? Because I, I just don't get it. You know, if, you know, nature's call will, will come up and, and you have to sit on it, you're like, oh no, I'm not going to do it. I, I don't know how I can actually come to terms with that. I could maybe come to terms with... Uh, <laughs> Maybe acting as somebody else, but I wouldn't come to terms with, with but, not responding to number one yeah. and then number two. Call. No, I can't come to terms with that. Yeah. No, I've been just saying, like, girls go on a date and it's really an expensive date, and the guy has gone all out, he's bought you, let's say, in, in the Kenyan way. If he's not those cheap steaks who are taking you for Yamachoma <laughs> and the boys, then he actually has gone to a five star hotel. Oh, gosh. And you've ordered a whole meal, which um, under any circumstances should be anything between 5,000 and 10,000. Mm -hmm. and the girl just picks it yeah it happens actually she uh, just picks it if i pick probably uh, <laughs> she doesn't eat it when she says the highlights. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. Said, yeah yeah she <laughs> talks about first impressions yeah uh, though always overlooked are very important in dating and uh, dressing how a woman is dressed for the first date mm -hmm. tells a lot about her personality and what she's looking for if she shows up dressed like a pole dancer yeah. uh, with her she's boobs pole and thighs sprawling all over the place then mm -hmm. the message is that <laughs> I, I don't want dancer. anything serious. Oh, so you know? we're just going to play. Yes, <laughs> just have your way with me and let's get over this and done already. Uh, yeah, you Silas know? actually says uh, <laughs> he's not turned on by women who show up wearing, you know, Man Manchester United jerseys on the first date. What? But he must not be a Man U fan. But Silas really, is not a Man U fan. He is oh my gosh. Probably he's, okay, he's not. He's not. But okay. then, he's a Chelsea. But still, yes. can, would you show up on the first date? In an arsenal of man, man I think I shirt. probably would just show up in how I am. But mm -hmm. I, I think it depends on, on how interested are you, um, on, you know, in this particular dude at that particular time. So if it's something that we just want to play around with each other, then yeah, I'm probably then just going to show up in, in, in wherever. Yeah. But if I'm making an effort, then yeah. the boy also, oh, sorry, the guy also needs to, to make an effort. And we know also that the Kenyan men do not make an they effort make in an terms effort, of yeah. dressing. Mm -hmm. no, they They're the guys showing up in the menu. Um, yeah. T-shirt. Yeah. I, I just have a problem with you know the way people attend weddings oh. sometimes. No, that's mm -hmm. an issue. Yeah, you know, it's, it's very easy to find somebody <clears throat> going to a wedding in a hoodie and a pair of jeans, Ooh. and you're like, no, come on. I thought, yeah. I thought we could do better than this. But the thing is, not even just about showing up in the wedding dressed badly. It's mm -hmm. also, in fact, last week I posted something. It's about people wanting to take over your wedding with their gadgets. The person in the hoodie has yeah. their you know, the, their, their phone, their mm -hmm. everything. So you can't get the good photos mm -hmm. that you need in your wedding. So this, 
And sometimes it's not even someone you know. It is somebody you know, you invited, the one who oh, came the with one the other was, one, oh, and oh, the goody people. Of a friend. Yeah. I Oof. think, but, but there's a way to solve this. I mean, we've seen weddings where um, the bride and the groom actually, they give out a dress code. So you yes. show up either in black, you show up in white. Yeah, a yeah. black hoodie. And actually, I know, <laughs> yes. no, I, I know yes. a wedding where anybody who showed up dressed informally, they were actually turned back. Of so course, I would because not, it's, 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 yeah, you wouldn't have gone that way. Yeah, I, would have I don't been. think we would have. That, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> for, I guess first impressions do matter it as well. Does, um, it does. And we should take this very seriously because um, if at some point you're going to eat food like you haven't eaten in a year, yes. that is also going to say it's something like the about If I was to eat the ginats um, and, and the matoke mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. in Kampala mm -hmm. somewhere, mm -hmm. and then we are going back to the Serena <laughs> with... Um, what, what are their names? The, the Catola. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, know, mm -hmm. you know, you guys have these interesting names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, th then I wouldn't do the genus because I probably, the first impression would be I'm in the loo. <laughs> 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 so there's another story on the front page of the Nairobian um, about this pastor who hasn't had sex with his mm -hmm. wife in 16 oh. years. Mm -hmm. That's an abomination, isn't it? Um, it's her story. It's she my said, story. So tell us about this yeah. story, Queen. Yes, it's my story. I don't want to, you know, spill everything. But mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. uh, this story is actually like uh, this story is real. It is yeah. real. It has happened. Wow. The gentleman has uh, a rare medical condition, oh, okay. which um, actually has interfered with his uh, with his uh, fertility. Mm -hmm. Is it fertility yes. or? Fertility or fertility? <laughs> well, as in, yeah, just explain fertility, that whole process. Uh, uh, okay, his condition, by the way, probably if I could just mention, is that he's uh, actually producing milk uh, from his breasts, oh. and uh, as a consequence of that, there's some uh, uh, what would I call them? Um, he's missing out on some. Uh, do they have certain hormones or certain hormones have, uh, yes. have been taken certain away from him? Certain hormones have mm -hmm. actually gone so high, mm -hmm. oh. so the body is not able to deal. He has higher female hormones. Not quite. <laughs> yeah, he has <laughs> but, but you know, you can go and get uh, hormonal stabilization, actually, well, the uh, medication. He needs, he needs money. The problem mm -hmm. is that oh. he has, he ha the, his problems are actually compounded. I can't even mention some of them. Mm -hmm. But then, as a result of that, you know, people have his friends and family, they have, uh, you know, discriminated against him. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't even have any children as we speak. He's struggling. Well, he didn't have uh, any? No, he doesn't. They don't and have he's children. And he's been married for 16 years? He's, married, no he's been married for 16 years. Actually, yeah. the problem began earlier in their marriage, mm -hmm. but he, he couldn't quite tell what it was until, mm -hmm. you know, the, the other symptoms came up. So, <clears throat> uh, pastor is actually in need of help. He okay. needs, he's a pastor. He's a pastor. He needs to go for uh, treatment outside the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's actually a sad what's, what's story. What's the congregation saying? Say? Huh? What's the congregation yeah. saying? Interesting is, is that the, uh, uh, part of the congregation have actually took off. Oh, so, so now he so doesn't have the, his flock yeah, took off. Some of them took they off. They said that a fatherless man uh, uh, cannot, cannot lead them. Yeah, cannot lead them. Yeah, yeah. so this gentleman, crazy. Has, he has many issues. He has many issues. You, you just need to grab a copy of the Nairobi mm -hmm. and then, you know, get the full info. But yeah, so he's actually had side effects as well. It started yeah. with severe headaches and yeah. then poor eyesight among yeah. other disturbing symptoms. Yeah, and he's even uh, weight. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then uh, the doctors, while well, the doctors could have told him, uh, you know, conducted several tests, including squeezing out milk for yeah. tests, the they did not make a conclusive diagnosis. Not yet. So he has really so suffered generally. He, he suffered generally. Mm -hmm. He has suffered and he actually need help so mm. Mm. Ah, it's not yeah. even funny yeah it's not no, funny it's a sad all, situation yeah. any anything to do with male um, fertility is always a little bit uh, tricky it's different from when it is the woman who cannot be able to bear children mm. or mm. again also you see such situations you know for men in order for them to participate in in copulation they have got to be a certain way for women perhaps you are not even able to participate but nobody gets to know because it's assumed yeah that you actually but, can mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yes and, yeah and then you know uh, probably just to take you back this gentleman you know we we, we live in africa and you know yeah. what happens with men and fertility yeah. mm -hmm. even when the problem is is with the the with guy, the guy so which the actually lots of surveys have actually um they find they out the situation yes mm -hmm. they, are they are pointing out that actually the problem could be most of the problem could be uh, yeah, the man. on the man but mm -hmm. now because of where we come from the women is always uh, the women are always accused 
Yeah. Yeah. They stand accused, mm -hmm. and um, most of them actually. But just about everything. If if a child doesn't yeah, perform, doesn't well, perform well in school, school it's like the yeah. mother. Yeah. 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 So when the child performs well, well to own up and actually share his 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 predicament. Well, your father's child. But I like that his wife is standing by him, right? Yeah. And and it's actually it's it's very commendable. And she has spoken by the way. She has spoken. She says. They are friends. That's what has kept them going. Mm -hmm. They are good friends. Mm -hmm. well, if somebody is your but friend, not, it doesn't but matter. Not, but it's not you know. easy. She says it has not been easy. That's difficult. She's, but, she's oh, human. She deserves know. a trophy. I mean, she in, does. Yeah, in the current society, who... I have such respect She's a good for, for, for the both of them, actually. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's also take a look at what's happening in the pulse today. And um, the, the, the young men at the back. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Young, really? Still. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, still. <laughs> Okay, tell me about him. I don't oh, know anything oh, about him. Do you know about him? <laughs> I don't know anything about him. I don't know about him. And I think he's also featuring right inside here. I think I, I, I can imagine what Stevens was planning. Stevens, hey, but they're here. Hey, doing things for you. So now, <laughs> I think what Stevens was coming for is gospel swag. Yeah. Um, and how the gospel boys have become swaggerly shares. Um, they're all really looking good. Mm -hmm. um, actually in the middle yeah. is where he has when the gospel wears swag mm. and here you have mm -hmm. uh, Willie Paul again mm -hmm. he has a bike I hear he bought a bike to go oh. along um, you know um, he bought a bike all, yeah oh man they're also I think um, the hat is also there and Rinter is just there mm -hmm. I think there was a time when gospel was associated with the downtrodden bad looking people and I think earlier on I also saw a very swagalicious DJ Sadiq somewhere <laughs> where did he go DJ Sadiq, right? He was very I love his stuff. You know, he was also like looking good. So I think mm -hmm. the gospel boys do not have to, you know, put themselves in a certain cocoon and not look good. I mean, we even saw with the the, the, the superstar song, they were all really superstar mm -hmm. looking in, mm -hmm. in, in terms of that. So mm -hmm. gospel shouldn't, and, and that is what Stevens is explaining, is that yeah. it has become, it's, um, you look at them and you look up at them. They, they dress beautifully, they look nice, mm -hmm. they, um, and they're trying, I'm sure, in all their splendor to also behave mm -hmm. well, right? Behave well, they're, they're trying. trying. <laughs> no, 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 they're well, really trying. They're, they're <laughs> really trying, but then again, we have, well, I think, uh, there's a time we carried the story about um, mm -hmm. the fate of uh, Gospel music, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, in as much as you know, they have embraced swag mm -hmm. and uh, you know their personality and their um, their creativity. Mm -hmm. They really must, uh, because of the huge responsibility and expectations actually uh, heaped on them, they have to know where to draw the line. I remember a while back, one of the Mary Mary sisters, she was actually criticized for wearing a very oh, the Mary oh, yeah. yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember that yes, the, Mary the white, sisters, the bodycon dress, the white bodycon <laughs> dress. But there was nothing wrong with her. She just really looked. Uh, was, where did they want her to take her she booty? She is uh, curvaceous. Yeah. Where did they want her? I think it's sort of like uh, Christians felt like she she revealed a little bit too much. But it was her body. I know, but you know but everything you, know, you do. We also have uh, what's her name? Um, the actress as well, who is married to a pastor. What's her name? The the, the uh, lady who acted the good weight. Yeah, she's yeah? called. Um, oh, what's her name? <coughs> you know, and she's also been criticized yeah, for, for, for looking for hot, exposing, exposing especially uh, her cleavage. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you know, at the end of the day, she says, you know, it, it's between her and God. And the relationship. Yes, she has between her and God. That's yeah. what matters. There's also another story here about um, some figures who have gone missing out of the limelight. Oh. 